on my next trip to the city, this time to the Exploratorium, a science museum geared to people for at all ages and levels of familiarity. And I think it's going to be another good day. The very first thing I saw here was this bride standing alone like a beacon. That was strange and wonderful. But now, on to the Exploratorium. There's only three mirrors here. I get a little dizzy in this one, just standing in here surrounded by these roads, this motion. I like this one a lot. That's beautiful. This demonstrates that bottleneck phenomenon. Example of wind causing waves. It's blowing air there. This is not an object, it's a current. Unlike that guy in another video, it's pretty simple. Except I broke it. Oh, there. You do it again.
It's an artificial tornado. A mezzanine of exhibits upstairs. The echo tube. Hello? 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 You ever seen bone stress before? Relative motion pendulum. Pendulum snake. Having outstayed my purchased welcome, take a walk around this dramatic lake park. Just the most dramatic structures. It's gigantic. Amazing grandiloquence, and the lake, and the birds, and the people. And now I'm on the way back home. This time I'm not even tired. The Exploratorium is a pretty good place to go, whether you're a parent of young children or an engineer looking for ideas. It's well presented, high content. There's just one catch though, they close at 5 and throw you out, so I don't recommend the trip unless you can get there by 11 or 12 at the latest, and they do have a cafe. I got there at 3 and 2 hours was definitely not enough, and it was still full price. I might come back another day, but only if in the morning. And that's it, that's all I have to say. I guess I should end this video. I'm Mr. Vanilla Caramel, and you just watched my video tour.